International shipping currently produces approximately 3% of total man-made carbon dioxide emissions as the shipping industry adopts cleaner marine fuels. Ian Wallace boards our first eco-friendly tugboat during this week's Keeping It Green. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. They're using more efficient types of tugboats. This here is a brand new tugboat that is basically greening our ports and waters. Among a fleet of 11 tugboats, the National Energy Resilience is the first eco-friendly tugboat in Trinidad and Tobago. Its captain, Mertlin Reed, says this low exhaust tugboat is also more fuel efficient than the others. The fuel consumption all is very economical and with the NOx system, you don't have the smoke coming out of the exhaust. NOx is short for nitrogen oxides, a global warming pollutant that forms acid rain and photochemical smog. Michel shipio hosang of National Energy explains how the nitrous oxide reduction system that's on board reduces emissions by 80%. So as the exhaust leaves the engine, it goes through the selective catalytic reduction system. In that system, urea is injected into filters, and that takes the NOx and breaks it into uh, vapor as one part and nitrogen as the other part. Ships also emit soot, known as black carbon, fine particles created by the incomplete combustion of a fuel. The residual exhaust passed through the scrubbing system, the particulate, it removes particulate from the exhaust. Meanwhile, Chief Engineer Willis Garcia monitors emissions. When the main engines reach a certain temperature, the exhaust gas reaches a certain temperature, 230 degrees, the urea is injected using the Dawson pump into the exhaust, which in turn reduces the NOx emissions. We can record the NOx in and NOx out after the urea is injected, so we can record those measurements for the emissions. Mr. Garcia adds this tugboat uses less fuel but produces more power when maneuvering by using two spinning thrusters. That's another reason why Captain Reed enjoys piloting this unique vessel in local waters. It's more advanced than the other vessels that you may see around here. I guess it's one of the kind in Trinidad right now as we speak. During the coming decades, low exhaust ships using lower carbon fuels will reduce harmful fumes across the Caribbean Sea. I am Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News. Exercising to get fit and healthy, going to the rivers and beaches to spend time with the family, yet you're leaving the place dotty dotty. What if Chancellor Buko, the Savannah, or one of the streets by we let us reduce, reuse, and recycle and clean up the country? No matter your age or gender, everyone can be an earth defender. Get into green with Swim Call. It was the month before Christmas, the season of chaos, and Donna was worried she wasn't ready for Christmas. But the everything plan she signed up for one day marked the beginning of gig speeds and the season of giveaways. Home makeovers, groceries, tech and cash galore for paying her bill and switching to more. What were the chances, Donna thought with a blush? Flo truly meant it when they'd said, Christmas is on us.